In this demonstration, Phyllis, an accounting manager, goes through a typical work cycle for a fixed asset. First, she enters a new fixed asset in the system and links the fixed asset to the company's depreciation book. Second, she posts the acquisition cost for the fixed asset and links the fixed asset to one of the company's insurance policies. Third, she calculates and posts a periodic depreciation for the fixed asset. Next, Phyllis posts maintenance expenses for the fixed asset, and then she gets an overview of the fixed asset entries. Finally, she disposes of the fixed asset and gets a final overview of all the fixed asset entries. Cronus International Limited has just purchased a new welder from vendor Coolwood Technologies. Phyllis, an accounting manager at the company, wants to enter the welder as a new fixed asset in the system. Phyllis starts by creating a new fixed asset card. On the fixed asset card, she can fill out information such as serial number, responsible employee, posting codes, maintenance information, and depreciation. Phyllis fills the description and the responsible employee fields. Next, Phyllis specifies codes for the welder. Class codes are important for running batch jobs and reports. The location code allows you to keep track of the placement of fixed assets. The welder belongs to the production department, so Phyllis sets up a default dimension, department, which will be proposed whenever an entry is created for the welder. Dimensions enable you to create statements, statistics, and analyses that are extracts of the complete financial statements. These extracts can be created using individual dimensions or combinations of dimensions. Finally, Phyllis fills out the vendor and maintenance information. Now Phyllis wants to specify a depreciation method for the welder by linking the fixed assets to the company's depreciation book. Phyllis links the welder to the company's depreciation book and selects the straight line method. Phyllis can use a number of other depreciation methods, including declining balance 1, declining balance 2, DB1 slash SL, DB2 slash SL, user defined, or manual. Because the fixed assets application area is integrated with the general ledger, everything you post in fixed assets is automatically posted to the general ledger. You do not need to re enter the same information a number of times, and you get a real time picture of your company's book value. The first entry for a fixed asset is an acquisition cost. You can either post an acquisition cost from a purchase invoice in payables or in an FA journal in fixed assets. Phyllis posts the first entry for the welder using a purchase invoice in fixed assets, and at the same time she links it to one of the company's insurance policies.
The acquisition cost is $48,000, and the buy from vendor number is $30,000. To add the insurance policy, Phyllis needs to add another column to the Lines Fast tab. Phyllis associates the welder with the insurance policy. When she has filled in all the necessary fields, she posts the acquisition cost. Next, Phyllis opens the fixed asset card for the welder. In the Navigate window, Phyllis can see all entries for the welder. With the Navigate feature, Phyllis can see that the invoice has also been posted to the General Ledger and the Vendor Ledger. Phyllis opens the insurance card window to view the insurance policy. On the insurance card, she can see and manage insurance policies related to fixed assets. Phyllis can see all entries for the insurance policy, including the welder entry. In the Insurance Coverage Ledger Entries window, Phyllis can see all the insurance ledger entries that have been linked to the specific insurance policy when posting to an insurance account. In the Insurance Statistics window, Phyllis can see that the insurance policy does not cover the total value of all insured fixed assets. This could be a case where she would look for additional insurance coverage on other policies. When posting acquisition costs, the cost is automatically posted to the vendor ledger, the general ledger, and the fixed asset ledger. The posting process is fully integrated, saving you time.